What's going on guys? My name is Gerard. Today we're going to learn how to front side axle stall. So before you learn this trick, you're going to know how to front side kick turn and back side axle stall. Front side axle stall is a trick that scared me for a long time. I actually hurt my knee pretty bad when I was first learning these tricks. And it's because I wasn't doing it the right way. So I'm going to make sure I teach you how to do it the right way. So a front side axle stall, you're going to come up. If you're goofy like me, you're going to turn to the right. If you're regular, you're going to turn to the left. Stall all the way up on top of the coping. Turn your shoulders and ride back in. So foot position for this trick, I actually like to have my back foot right in the middle of the tail. I hang my toes off a little bit and I like to make sure my heels hanging off as well. It's really important to getting this trick down right. And I want to make sure my front foot is over the bolts. By doing that, it gives me a better pivot point over my back truck and allows me to lean forward enough when I come back in. What makes this trick different than a backside axle stall is for a backside axle stall, you come up, pivot on your toes, and then you shift your weight back onto your heels. You'll notice that you're stalling on your heel side trucks. For a front side axle stall, you're gonna do everything the opposite. You come up just like a front side kick turn, pivot on your heel, and shift your pressure to your toes. That's what gets you in the stall on top of the ramp. You'll also notice that instead of having your board hanging into the ramp, it's actually all the way on top of the coping. It's really important you get all the way up because that's what's gonna give you the pivot point to put pressure on your heel and come back into the ramp. That's the key to this trick. I wish somebody would have told me that when I was first learning it, but the key to this trick, especially coming back in, is it's all in your heel side pressure. So when you're leaning onto the ramp, you're gonna shift all the pressure back onto your heel, and that's what brings your wheel over. On a backside axle stall, your wheel comes over because it's just barely over the coping. But for front side, you need to put that pressure on the heel to get your wheel to come over the coping. If you only have your front trucks over, you won't have enough balance to put that heel pressure, and then you just bail out. When you're coming back in, in addition to putting pressure on your heel, it's really important you open your shoulders back up to allow the board to come back in the ramp. Coming in from front side axle stall at first is one of the scariest things you'll learn on a mini ramp because essentially you're coming in backwards. You can't see where you're going and you really have to trust yourself to open your shoulders so you can come back in. Some people recommend doing a little hop when you're coming in to get your wheels over. That's totally fine if you're comfortable doing that. What I noticed though is if you don't put enough pressure on your heel and you try that hop, you're just gonna hang up and then land straight to the flat bottom. Obviously, that's what you don't want to do. Once again, that's why that heel pressure on this trick is so important because if you're still putting any pressure on your toe, your wheel's going to slide over and you're going to end up hanging up. When you're coming back in, you're going to have to lean a little bit more forward than you're used to. That's why I like to make sure that my front foot is all the way up there on those bolts. Some of the things that I struggled with when I was first learning this trick, really at first was just getting into the stall. So like I said, it's a lot like a front side kick turn, but you wanna make sure you get all the way up on the ramp. One of the problems I kept having was I wasn't turning enough. So I'd end up in this kind of pseudo front side feeble stall thing. Um, and it was really just cause I wasn't committing to leaning back on my heel and turning all the way around. Just like any other trick where you're turning, kick turn, axle stall, whatever, it's all in the shoulders. So I kind of would tell myself almost that I was gonna try and do a 5-0. Obviously, I wasn't that committed to leaning far back, but by doing that, I got just a little bit more pivot to get onto the coping. You have to make sure that you turn your shoulders so that they're parallel with the coping, otherwise you're not gonna be able to get into the stall. Obviously, the other big thing I struggled with was coming back in. I would just hang up over and over and over. I would try and do the little hop, but what would happen is my back truck would just get stuck on the coping every time. So when you're coming back in, you need to focus on two things. Number one, make sure you're shifting all your back foot pressure to your heel. The second thing, open your shoulders up. Front side tricks on mini ramps, just like front side kick turn, is all about opening your shoulders and you just gotta believe that you're gonna come in. If you put all your pressure on your heel, open up your shoulders, that wheel's gonna roll right over and you'll be able to drop back in. Like I said earlier, this trick is really, really scary at first, but as long as you focus on where to put your foot pressure on your heel and turning your shoulders, you're gonna land it in no time. Nice work, you just learned how to front side axle stall. It's a trick that scared me forever, 
But once you learn it and learn how to harness that heel pressure, it opens up a whole new world of ramp skating. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know what trick you want to learn next or what trick you want to see me learn next. And if you learn a new trick, send a video my way. You might find yourself at the end of the next video. Till then, see you next time.